hello, I just want to uh, tackle this idea that men have a problem with uh, feminism speaking for women. You know, they, they don't necessarily see the connection. Yeah, they don't want to admit that, think that there are, you know, there's levels to it or that it doesn't speak for women. And they're wrong. It's just that it's unconscious. The, the feminist movement speaks for the unconscious desires of the average woman. And you find out that the hard way, if you bring up men's issues to a woman who even says she's not for feminism, she reacts as a feminist. And so it's the you know, the nebulous of it, of the situation that people don't get. Now, this is uh, a clip from Mark Postgate, an MRA, where he talks about Emma Watson. We'll hear about it. Clearly not true it is Emma Watson's assertion that feminism is there to give women choices. And I'm not even using that as a criticism of feminism, because how could it possibly be? If feminism meant that women could do anything it would be absolutely meaningless there has to be some sort of limitations to what behaviors can be performed in order for it to in any way be definable as a movement and if it was about giving women choices but was still about removing choices from men what a hypocritical movement that would be i actually think that choice feminism which is this idea that feminism is about giving women choices is actually more hypocritical than radical feminism which is um far more prescriptive in saying what men and women should be able to do okay mark postgate is wrong in every way it's not a meaningless movement though it's not meaningless to say that women can do whatever they want because obviously the movement works and it's been doing that for women all along. And if, if you don't believe me, if you watch Mark, Mark's video here, he even shows it has the, what was his name here? The guy who landed the drone on the comet. He had to cry and give an apology. Emma Watson stood strong, which shows you that the feminist, the radical feminist, if if they want to get something done, they can smash a guy in, at any time. The reason why they can't do it, Dan and Watson, is because women, they, they are giving her choice. In the end, they, they are angry that she showed off her body to guys, but they're never going to ever try to stop her. So he's wrong in every way. And yes, all feminism is a hypocritical movement. Of course it is. It's a gender KKK. It's always about that. It is absolutely about giving women what they want at men's expense. And this video of Marx is only four years old. So that shows you how gullible men are. Now. My man in the comment section, Eric Schiedler, he points it out, a good video. I would add that feminism is formless. It is the feminine unconscious manifest in a vague social group. Wow, He's, it's, he says it all in the sentence. It has no goals as evidenced by its constant change to fashion, yes. That it reacts to female emotions of aversions and attraction is not sufficient to give it any conscious goals or form. See, now that paragraph said it all. Thank you, Mr. Schiedler. But as he said, that's why you have Watson doing whatever she wants, even though these women can stop the guy from doing what he wants, from wearing his, what, shirt with the girls on it. Because in the end, Emma wants as a woman, she wants it this way, she's getting it. So... So now I'm going to bring up this young lady, Strange Eons, and how she's talking about learning how to be a traditional wife. She's going to, this is, of course, a non-traditionalist. I, I believe she's a lesbian, so she'd never get married to a man. Well, I shouldn't say never. Uh, and she's going to bash on traditional wife, even though these traditional wives are no different from her. They want the same thing. Now. Bring this up to full screen. There we are. Now this young lady 
eons. As you can see, she's a very pretty girl. She's traditionally feminine. She's wearing makeup and her hairstyle. Everything is very feminine. And so she's got almost a million subs. She's obviously computer savvy enough that she can make a YouTube channel. She get a Patreon. So she's getting her free money. She doesn't want to work for a living any more than the rest of us do. And she's getting her free money from YouTube. So she's going to bash these tradwives who are getting their free money from a worker slave drone husband. As painful as it's going to be, we'll hear what she has to say. And the reason why I'm showing this is show that this woman has no consciousness about what these women are about. She has no idea that these women are using their husbands and they don't want to work for a living and they have all the choice in the world. But let's play a bit. It typically means a traditional housewife who strongly believes in enforcing the gender norm of women being housekeepers or whatever, but in the online sphere, traditionalism is usually just boiled down to being racist and Catholic. This tag is pretty mixed. Okay, that later on in the short bit of clip I'm going to show, uh, it's going to be contradicted. It doesn't mean Catholic. <laughs> and these women are not into enforcing their gender roles. This is a choice they made, and the day they don't want to do it anymore, they'll dump it. So this young lady, of course, being gullible, she has no idea of her own motivations. Uh, she doesn't realize that these women are just giving lip service to this. Between people making fun of this and, and people who are in it, there's also just a lot of like aesthetic posts of women in long skirts. What is a traditional wife? A woman that follows traditional gender roles to serve and honor God, her husband and her family. She is kind, graceful, unafraid of embracing her womanhood and unequivocally feminine. But what Okay, though, they just happen to like being dressed up as feminine. And if they didn't, they wouldn't be involved in this. Uh, this young lady probably thinks these women are forcing themselves to do this. They aren't. And like I say, if they decide they want to change their styles and they want to dump all this, they will. So this is all lip service. What if I'm a dumbass who trips over every curb? Am I automatically excluded from this subculture of being a elegant traditional wife? All right, please don't make me, please don't make me vomit strange eons. You're a very pretty girl. You're very, you're typically uh, feminine. Guys would trip all over themselves to get after you. So don't virtue signal. Knowing no guy gives care if you drop a cup or something. Probably. She understands the importance of her role as a wife, mother, lover, and homemaker, and raises her children with the knowledge that strong families build strong nations. Things we are not going to unpack right now. <laughs> yeah, she's thinking about the racism horseshit. These women are not racist. Strange Eon, I have to tell you something about yourself and these women. None of you are nationalist. Even the women who get into bed with nationalists aren't nationalist. You will... You have no loyalty of that kind. Second World War, French women were banging and hanging around Nazi men. They didn't care about their na nation of France. They just uh, clung on to wh whoever was top dog. And these women are no different. So it will be less embarrassing for you if you stop looking so smug. This post says, hold yourself to the same standards you hold your spouse to. If you expect them to be patient, be patient yourself. And it's tagged like trad wife, trad fam, traditional femininity, which like, I have no beef with that that post. I yes, guess. you do. You can tell by your, your sorry assed expression and tone. <laughs> you are disgusted that this woman gave lip service to equality in the relationship between her and the man. She doesn't mean it. Because she's not working for a living. Her man is working and, she, and she's not uh, doing it. So she's getting a free ride. If she respected her man, she would get a job and, and of equal value to his. So you're disgusted just at the, the lip service of some kind of equality. <laughs> Sure, sure, cool. Anyone else ever follow a singly cute 
uh, Trad Life Cottage Core Homesteading blog, only to cringe and hit the unfollow button when you're scrolling through your dash and see someone reblog vitriolic anti-choice posts about how evil abortion is. I, I here's another thing, strange eons. Um, these women who are anti-abortion, they're not anti-abortion as soon as they want one themselves. They just go get and get an abortion. No woman is actually anti-abortion. I haven't done a deep dive on um, like the cottage core, farm core um, kind of stuff. I think I've I've touched on the the aesthetic tag kind of phenomenon on Tumblr, but like cottage core, farm core, traditional homesteading are all like kind of it's like a popular aesthetic community on Tumblr. So there's a lot of overlap between that and the kind of aesthetic posts that these traditional wives would reblog. Happiness is baking cakes for my husband from scratch. I mean, that's pretty wholesome. That's a cute cake. Exactly, Aunt. You see. You, like I said again, are making money off of your Patreon. Uh, you don't have to necessarily shack up with a guy to get uh, your free ride. And these women probably have no skills whatsoever. Anyone can follow a recipe. So they probably would find the job market murder to deal with. So they found a sucker. And they're, all their contributions is like, Maybe I'll keep the house from being total mess and and bake you a cake. That's all they're offering these guys. Sees a cute pastel blog with flower arrangements, gardening, seasonal decorating, bakering, and cleaning inspo. Sees bio is something like trad wife, homemaker, living for him. Timothy two twelve, married zero point five years to the love of my life. Women are made for the home to love and honor. Yeah, that's from Tomo guys. Look, everyone is listening. She's laughing, but this is all lip service. And she actually believes lip service. This woman has no consciousness about her own motivation as a woman and these motivations of these women. They're, it's all the same. And that includes, by the way, all these women on TikTok that realize, hey, all I have to do is walk around in a bikini and guys will give a few dollars each, but if a thousand guys do it, I'm making all kinds of money. It's just one version of another of, of getting a free ride. <laughs> yeah, you married the man you respect. I don't think I did, but go off, I about... guess. <laughs> now, respect the man you married. She finds this, this funny, right? <laughs> so this is the average contempt. This is the contempt of the average woman. These women do not respect their man, and, but, but she's laughing at the idea that these women would live off a man and yet give lip service to respect. They don't respect them, but they're giving lip service. So she's laughing at the lip service again. Okay. <laughs> A little introduction. Hello, all. I'm Lana, a 30 something woman who enjoys a traditional male led marriage. I am subserv I am a subservient wife and mother and homeschooler, and I follow a non traditional religion. What I tell you, <laughs> they contradicted themselves. They said, oh, it must be mostly Catholic. No, these women, uh, they just show up in any church that they, that they like particularly. They look at what the denomination offers and they pick and choose. Esther Lee, uh, Villar pointed out long ago that women are not religious, spiritualist, you know, they're not spiritual people. They go to church to hear that they're going to live forever, that they're special, that they're good people, and they're going to go to heaven. That's why women go to church. That and it's a meeting place to uh, dress up, to, to play dress up. That's the other thing. So that, that just goes to show you this. And she's going to have a problem with male lead, of course. Does that mean you're in a cult? I am a bleeding heart progressive liberal with a need for real justice. But the cool thing about feminism is that I can choose to be a trad wife. Okay? And she's basically just like, everyone is valid. I will See, guys, feminism gives Looking women choices. It doesn't matter what the woman wants. There is no guidelines. This stuff, it's like, yes, the phrase male led marriage uh, induces. Um, yeah, I know, you're a low one. I got it. <laughs> Look, lady, male led just means the man's a servant. He makes all the hard decisions 
and he suffers any fallout. Leadership is responsibility and work, and these women don't want any of that any more than you do. <laughs> right? So, of course, they've got this guy to be this sucker to be their husband. And yet you actually believe that the man gets anything out of leadership, of, out of leading the marriage. So everyone, look at this woman, strange eon. She has no idea about what's going on. She has no idea about the motivations of these women whatsoever. Feminism, it, it's a, as Eric Schiedler pointed out, it's a manifestation of women's unconscious desires. There's no difference between this young lady on Flux, or sorry, I'm calling you on Flux, strange eons and these trad wives there's no difference to, between these women eon you are no different from these trad wives it's all a matter of aesthetics and preferences and in this case lack of skill on the internet you've obviously got enough skills you can get a buy again on youtube they don't so it's all usury Anyway, that's as far as we need to go. Um, sorry, any guy who had to vomit a little to hear this woman speak, but uh, we, I won't go put you through anymore. It just uh, She's just a perfect example. This strange eons woman is a perfect example of just how, uh, you know, narcissistic, solipsistic, uh, unconscious the average woman is, you know. Well, and, and this is why feminists work so well. And post-gate was wrong. You know, feminism works. It's been working for decades and decades. And it, it, just, it just has one rule. Give women whatever women want at men's expense. That's it. And once you get that rule, everything else follows and it makes perfect sense. Okay. And please stop trying to separate feminism from the average woman and vice versa. Feminism exists from the desires of the average woman. Thank you.